Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com and this is the Forex Weekly Outlook for the week of September the 19th, 2011. Now to get started this week we're going to be begin where we always do with the US dollar index. Now what I want to point out to everybody here is that I've talked about over the last uh, several months this critical support sitting down at 7350. We can see that the market has tried to push through this area multiple times and failed. I've also talked about uh, a higher high and uh, the fact that we didn't get uh, a lower low. So looking at this in this in the last week or so, we've actually managed to push to a higher high yet again. So our, our previous high was just above the 77 level, about 77.25. We're now pushed all the way up to 78. Now we can see the market is starting to turn back down. This is perfectly normal. I've also talked about monthly flows with the dollar index, real money flows, and that the dollar tends to sell off towards the third week of the month, each month that is. So we can expect this to actually move lower. Our key level, 75, uh, 75.75 is our key level. We've closed at 76.59, barely holding above the three vantage point predicted moving averages. So I suspect that this will move lower. Now looking at this, we can see we're in overbought territory. Now our short term crossover from vantage point, uh, a very useful crossover has crossed to the downside. This is, and this is, this is uh, taking place about three days ago. So probably Wednesday, Thursday we started to see of, of this past week, we started to see dollar weakness. Now this is likely to continue. If we look at our medium term crossover, we can see that it's trying to push lower too. Now our long term crossover, somewhat different this month, is that it's really holding firm. So. I would suspect that we're going to be moving lower on the dollar uh, across the board to begin the week, probably uh, until we get uh, confirmation from the Fed as to what they're doing on Wednesday. So we're going to see a volatile week, the dollar likely under pressure until Wednesday. We've got this fundamental to deal with. After that, uh, by probably the end of the week or the beginning of next week, we'll see the dollar start to reverse again. So what we can expect pre-Fed, the market is counting on. Uh, potentially QE3, a bunch of other stimulus. Uh, I think th I think the market will really be disappointed here, based on the CPI number that I saw this week. That the dollar is likely again will remain under pressure, but this will be a short-term play. Now, what we want to do when we're looking at this, we want to compare this to some of the other driving factors in the market. Specifically, we want to look at gold. I talked about last week that gold would probably sell off. The dollar would strengthen, and whether the dollar strengthens or the dollar weakens, gold is likely to sell off. We're looking very toppy up here. Now, we can see that that trade has actually progressed. The short-term crossover, the medium-term crossover, and now the long-term crossover is starting to push lower also. Now, what I want to point out here is that gold will follow the, the, the equity play. Equities up, gold down. That's the predominant trade there. That still appears to be in play. Now, when we say that, we can look, we can see here that the, as the S&P 500 continues to move up, the gold continues to move down. Now, if this is a buy the rumor, sell the fact, which in fact I think it is, uh, Gold is likely to recover in the latter part of the week as equities plummet. Depending, but again, the wild card here is depending on what the Fed, what is in the Fed statement. We know he's not raising rates. <laughs> That's a no-brainer that he's not going to be raising rates. But it's more the QE3, the stimulus. What what is their plan? Uh, my opinion is he doesn't have a plan, <laughs> so uh, that's uh, that's the unfortunate part of this is that there is a wild card. But on the S&P 500, we can see that the short-term crossover is up, the medium-term crossover is up. That coincides with the vantage point, uh, predicted MACD and predicted TSI, and our long-term crossover is sitting flat. But I anticipate it will move higher. And again, this is based upon buying the rumor and selling the fact. After we get the Fed statement, we may get another burst of strength out of the equities, but then a very sharp move lower. That's incredibly likely. Now, one of the leading indicators that I like to use here also with the equities and the dollar is looking at light sweet crude oil. Looking at the light sweet crude oil, we can see that it's getting rather toppy and it's essentially channeling right underneath this uh, 91 level and it's unable to break this level. I find this very interesting. Now you can see the actual short term crossover is moved to the downside. The medium term is flat and the long term is still holding a slight upward bias. Now it's it's normal that light sweet crude oil 
will follow the S&P 500. So you can see that really the market is not overly bullish on, on light sweet crude oil. And this to me translates into they're not overly really bullish in the equity markets either. So you can see the underlining tone for the dollar is still, in my opinion, uh, somewhat strong here. And, and this is certainly the, the kind of intermarket analysis in real time that we need to do. Now, again, looking at the 10-year notes is something I'll also look at to gauge the dollar strength in the equity markets. As these 10-year notes move lower, it's perfectly normal for the equities to move higher. What I want to point out here, though, is that the, the short-term crossover may be to the downside on the 10-year notes and even on the medium term. But the long term you can see is flat and this is the benefit of using the, a product like the vantage point software is that it's telling me the the outcome or the likely outcome in the short the medium and the long term i'm not going to bet strictly down on the short term or the medium term or the long term i want to get a good analysis of everything that's happening in the market and and again looking at the multiple time frames is very very important now, how is this going to relate to our start to the week in, in, our, in our foreign exchange market? Well, we've already talked about what the likely outcome is with the equities, with the crude oil, and with the gold, and the U.S. dollar. The dollar is likely to move lower. The equity is likely to move higher. Gold probably following the dollar lower. How does this translate into our Forex pairs? Looking at the Aussie-U.S. currency pair, we can see here that it's likely our short-term crossover is going to move to the upside. The Aussie is going to follow the equities for the most part. So we can see in our short term we're coming out of overbought territory and we've likely got a corrective move higher here. Now when we're looking at corrective moves we also want to look at because we know that the Fed statement is coming out on Wednesday we look for an upward target area potentially to get back into a short. We're using the vantage point air 18 day predicted moving average for that area exactly. 104.66 that is your target area on the upside. I would buy into this up to this level and then I would reverse. And by midweek, again, it's very possible that the Aussie US could move back up into the 105 area. That, in my opinion, provides an opportunity for when the dollar turns back uh, stronger again, which is again probably in the latter part of the week. Now, the British pound US dollar, this is also, you can see I have this line drawn right across here, very bearish. And again, when the market and some of the analysts that I hear, they talk about this big dollar sell-off and how weak the dollar is. Uh, again, I want to point out the dollar is not weak, not whatsoever. It, you know, years ago, trading the British pound at 211, 215, the, the British pound is taking a far greater beating than the dollar has taken through this in this last year. So I want to point, make sure we point that out, that this is in a very significant downtrend. So we would buy... And expect on dollar weakness, the pound dollar is potentially a good place to 